A team from McMaster University had a dream come true last night during the SpaceX launch. The students and researchers were on hand to see their new dose satellite lift off from Florida. The satellite is capable of measuring radiation levels in space. The goal is to identify potential health risks astronauts face during their time outside of Earth's atmosphere. And with me now is a member of that team, Patrick Chin, the mechanical co-lead for McMaster University's project. Uh, Patrick, congratulations. You must be riding high right now. We are, the whole team's ecstatic. Yes, thank you so much. It's uh, it's really a dream come true. Yeah, you said it. That's so awesome. So uh, tell us first of all about the project itself and how it came to be launched last night from the Kennedy Space Station. What was the journey? So what we're looking at is, uh, is an eight year project that we've been working on at McMaster. Uh, it's been sort of the brainchild of our, uh, our really dedicated principal investigators. So that's uh, Dr. Uh, Sohyun Bian, uh, Dr. Andre uh, Hanu, and Dr. Eric Johnston. All of them kind of came together to create this uh, the designs for this device. And together we've been designing, testing, and doing all of the uh, all of the work behind making this happen. So to see it all realized is uh, is quite incredible. Yeah, eight um, years of work. That's incredible. So can you explain New Dose to people? What is the goal? What's the purpose? Yeah, of course. So New Dose is uh, is an acronym. We love our acronyms in aerospace. It stands for. Uh, uh, neutral, uh, excuse me, it stands for Neutron Dosimetry and Exploration. So we're studying radiation in space. Uh, when we're here on Earth, there's lots of different sources of radiation, but the atmosphere around Earth really protects us from a lot of that. And as we look to the future of space travel and, spl- and space exploration, we're interested in long-term deep space missions, and we don't really know how radiation is going to affect uh, the human body when we get out to those sorts of uh, those sorts of missions. So our project has designed a new type of radiation uh, detector, and so we're going to take some of these measurements uh, outside of Earth's atmosphere to get get some of that information and and build up that knowledge over time. So how what was the 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 sales job like, if you will? <laughs> How did you convince um, those with SpaceX that what you created was important and necessary? Yeah, that's a that's a great question, and uh, the answer is lots of hard work. So we could not have done this without our partners at the Canadian Space Agency at the CSA. They put out this call for proposals. The Canadian CubeSat project is a, uh, is a program that the CSA has opened up across Canada uh, to different schools from all over the country. And we were fortunate enough for our proposal to get selected uh, for one of these missions. Uh, it seems like a very long time ago now, but uh, without their help and support, there's no way we could have been able to do this uh, just just with us students. So we owe a lot to them to help us uh, get to this point. We're also very proud. Patrick Chin, mechanical co-lead for McMaster University's New Dose team. All the best. Thank you so much.